Today's topic of discussion is decoding Metatron's cube. In the following video presentation, I'll share with you drawings I've created with AutoCAD software. Here the Metatron's cube represents magic, alchemy, containment, and ascension. We see 13 circles. This is the fruit of life. 13 systems of knowledge, 13 eons, eternal realms, extensive time, realms of creation and abstractions. Behind the chaos exists a perfect mathematical balance and harmony. Each vibratory cycle, no matter how imperfect, must be part of the plan of the greater cycle until the many neighboring worlds can be engathered into the higher eons. The mixture of all quantum wave phenomena, holographic interference patterns of consciousness, are found within the matrix of the Metatron's cube. This omnipresent matrix cube represents the grid work of our consciousness expressed as the framework container of our holographic universe in which frequency appearing as matter is suspended. Leading quantum physicist David Joseph Bohm used holography as a metaphor conveying the structure of the implicate order in which everything is connected. Holography relies upon wave interference. If two wavelengths of light are of differing frequencies, they interfere with each other and create a pattern of information. A hologram illustrates how information of the entire three-dimensional hologram is enfolded into every part of the holographic film. Where every point on the film is completely determined by the summation configuration of interference patterns. If you were to cut the holographic film into smaller and smaller parts, each piece of holographic film reveals the unfoldment form of an entire three dimensional object or scene. Bohm named the totality movement of enfoldment and unfoldment of waves the hollow movement. The hollow movement is the fundamental root of all matter. Within the omnipresent matrix, everything exists as the reality we choose as we are God, source, experiencing itself. Therefore, no victims exist in the hollow movement, only absolute creators. For every female concept, there is a male concept combining to create light at every merging. You'll notice straight lines running from center of sphere to center of sphere. The straight line represents male. The curved line or circle represents female. The female sphere, also known as the void, birthed five forms that determine structure. The circle is a symbol of the sun, universe, the cosmic wheel, the cosmic connection being one with the creator the perfect circle of sound. It is a symbol of perfection, peace, eternality, of spiritual gnosis, unconditional love, truth, and life that has no beginning or ending. Five platonic solids were birthed from the void. Everything within reality is a function of the platonic solids. The combination of these five forms create the discipline of alchemy, blending fire, earth, air, water, and ether, which create everything the basis of creation itself. Here we see a cube within a cube. There are holograms within holograms, as above, so below. The microcosm is a reflection of the macrocosm. The key of the Metatron's cube is the golden mean fractal, ascending infinitely inward and outward simultaneously. The square root of 5 plus 1 over 2 is 1.618033989. Because this is an elliptical spiral fractal, it is constantly evolving. It is not entrapped. Here we see the fractal spiral of the golden section ratio within the nautilus shell sectioned in half. Here we see the right hand spiral. Notice 1.618033989 length to one height ratio of the rectangles. Everything in nature is represented by this fractal of phi. Here we see the first platonic solid, the tetrahedron, representing fire having four faces. Fire is the power to transform solids into liquids to gas and back again. In other words, it possesses power to transform the state of any substance. Within our bodies, the fire or energy binds the atoms together. It also converts food to fat and muscle. 
Fire transforms food into energy. It creates impulses of nervous reactions, our feelings, and even thought process. Fire is considered form without substance. The cube represents Earth having six square faces. Earth represents the solid state of matter. It manifests stability, permanence, and rigidity. In our body, the parts such as bones, teeth, cells, and tissues are manifestations of the Earth. Earth is considered a stable substance. The octahedron, representing air, having eight triangular faces, such as seen when placing two pyramids together base to base, also seen in magnetite geometry and iron atom geometry. Air is the gaseous form of matter which is mobile and dynamic. Within the body, air, oxygen, O2, is the basis for all energy transfer reactions. It is a key element required for fire to burn. I'm sure you've heard the saying, air fuels fire. Air is existence without form. The icosahedron represents water having 20 equilateral triangular faces. Water characterizes change and represents the liquid state. Water is necessary for the survival of all living things. A large part of the human body is made of water. Water of our blood, lymph, body fluids move between our cells and through our vessels, bringing energy, carrying away wastes, regulating temperature, the immune system, carrying hormonal information from one area to another. Water is a substance without stability. The pentagonal dodecahedron representing ether, also known as prana, chi, or life force energy, having 12 faces. Ether is the space in which everything happens. It is the field that is simultaneously the source of all matter and the space in which it exists. Ether is only the distances which separate matter. The chief characteristic of ether is sound. Here sound represents the entire spectrum of vibration. The star tetrahedron is formed during cell division as eight cells in animal life form embryonic development fitting perfectly within a sphere. This is also known as the vehicle of ascension, the Merkaba, the light field that takes spirit and body from one world to another. Essentially, it is two tetrahedrons merged together. The light spirit body, the throne of God vehicle. This is what I was guided to draw for as good as God, the transformation of suffering into enlightenment. Here you see the Tai Chi symbol in the middle, the 13th eon. Now quoting from Pistis Sophia, a Coptic Gnostic text by J.J. and Desiree Hertak, the reality of the 13th eon thus points us to our stage of graduation from the lower dimensions of the 12 eons, the 12 spheres, into the mid-heavens and the higher heavens of the height, where it represents the triumph of the higher self when the lower and higher natures become one. And now, moving along, when we observe the Tai Chi, we observe unity beyond duality. Here we see darkness and light are elements of the same God source we see there is only the absolute of God experiencing itself. Therefore, balanced yin-yang harmony is the perfect synthesis of spirit and matter in zero time. When one becomes the single, they become the central pivot of the spinning Tai Chi, unattached to duality. Enlightenment occurs when one moves out of duality consciousness into unity consciousness. Babaji described this as the wheel of Maya. He said, events come and go, this is the wheel of Maya. Let the wheel spin around you without your attachment to any part of it. Let go of the spokes, live in the center, that is the real. When you make the opposites one, you enter the singularity, where there is only peace that passes all understanding. Unconditional love is the recognition of oneness. No longer are we entrapped by prescriptions of limitation that suppress our divine self. No longer do we prevent the male-female unity balance within us. Truly, materialism, dualism, and all theologies of black and white only repress the living reality of the original nature of the child within the child, which must be released so that we can experience the true identity of the kingdom within us and outside us. For even darkness shines when we remember the Radiant One.